Hi everyone, here is Leo again, and um, today I'm gonna continue with the reading of the book of Matthew. But today I decided to position the book in a different way. So, as you see, the camera is fixed. I I I can move, but I I don't want. <laughs> Uh, I hope you. I hope it will be better if I just move the book during the reading, and of course you can let me know if it, this way is better to follow the, the 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 teachings of Jesus. Okay, I'm just an instrument here. Just to remind you, I'm just an instrument. I my voice. It, I I will just share the words of the gospel that was taught by Jesus, okay? So, first of all, um, I just would like to pray for all of us that the message of Jesus will reach our hearts, even if we, you are already a follower of Jesus, even if you already accepted Jesus in your heart, it's always important to to keep your your heart open to the teachings of Jesus, and um, also that this message <clears throat> can reach someone close to you and uh, the other people, any other people in the world. Okay, um, so let's start with the, <clears throat> the verse, um, actually the chapter three, uh, 3 of the Gospel of Matthew. The proclamation of John the Baptist. In those days John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness of Judea, proclaiming, Repent! For the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is the one of whom the prophet Isaiah spoke when he said, The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now John, more clothing of camels, hair with a, a leather belt around his waist, waist and his food was locust and uh, wild honey. Then the people of Jerusalem and all Judea were going out to him and all the region along the Jordan, and they were baptized by him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, you brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit worth of repentance. Repentance. Do not presume to say to yourselves, "We have Abraham as our ancestor." For I I tell you. God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit in the fire and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand and he will clear his threshing floor and will gather his wet into the granary. But the chaff he will be burned, he will burn with unquenchable unquenchable fire. The Baptism of Jesus. 
let me just align here brothers and sisters um, I will try to align every session here right in the center right with the center of my my camera I don't want to move the camera far away from the book because I'm not sure if you if you can see the words <clears throat> the baptism of Jesus then Jesus came to Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him John would have prevented him saying I need to be baptized by you and do you come to me but Jesus answered him let it be so now for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness then he consented and when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting, alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, the Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. That's so beautiful, guys. So, the temptation of Jesus. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness of to be tempted by the devil. He fasted forty days and forty nights, and afterwards he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become leaves to br of bread. But he answered, it's, uh, it is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil looked him to the holy city and placed him in the pinnacle uh, of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and uh, on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the, uh, of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, All this I will give you, if you will fall down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, Let me align here. Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him. And suddenly angels came and waited on him. Jesus begins his ministry in Galilee. Now when Jesus, when Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and made his home in Capernaum, by the sea in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali so that what had been spoken through the proper Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From the time that Jesus, from that time, Jesus began to proclaim, "Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near." Jesus calls the first disciples. As he walked by the sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them. Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately 
they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James son of Zebedee and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus ministers to, crow, to crowds of people. Jesus went through throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing, curing um, up every disease and every sickness among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria. And they brought to him all the sick, those who were afflicted with various diseases and pains and demoniacs, epileptics and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowns followed him from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. That's amazing, oh guys. Um, there is something that always call my attention and it is in this passage let me just return here is let me see okay one does not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of god um since I turned Christian, uh, it's it's funny, you no? Know? Uh, I I realized that I I I don't feel hungry as I felt before. Um, I I'm I'm quite used to to the practice of uh, fasting, so it's something that I do regularly. But it was something that got strong since I, I I decided to surrender completely to Jesus Christ. Um, it's almost like all the anxiety, all the the worries and the, the fear going away. I, I not I will not lie. Sometimes I have I, I have my my all my all worries and uh, uh, I overthink too much sometimes, but when I come back to Jesus, when I remember, when I pray for Jesus, everything heals in some way. Okay, and uh, I would like to share this with you because I, I believe that it's very important that to experience um, that you are not alone. Yeah. Yeah, what I want to say is you are not alone. And uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I <laughs> explained it properly what I wanted, but uh, yeah, it, it is the feeling that I have. And, um, um, and the, another passage that is also interesting is the power uh, of Jesus uh, they recognized Jesus and then abandoned all their mundane lives no, to follow Jesus. And uh, yeah, God bless. Bless us as well, please. Guys, uh, that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you have any other idea, what I did different, probably you already noticed. What I did, I put the book in a high surface. I have other books here underneath the Bible. I moved the camera down a little more. So the camera is now fixed in one position. As I mentioned before, I can move back and forward up and down, side to side, and I also uh, adjust the, adjusted the light here, so in order to have a better view of what I've, 
I am reading and don't have any any shadows. Uh, okay, I think that uh, yeah, uh, maybe mm, not sure yet. Okay, but maybe in the future I can do uh, regular lives. Um, let's see what what will happen. So, uh, uh, it's something that I, I'm really looking forward. Do regular lives every every evening from Monday to to Friday every evening from Monday to Friday maybe 8 p.m. 7 p.m. Um, well if you are watching this video now uh, you can if it's just one one suggestion I will accept uh, and I will I will consider okay the possibility so it is for God again So, and uh, I hope you you can stick with me and the channel and with the word of God, which is the most important, not only me, but uh, not myself, but uh, God, Jesus. Okay, guys, brothers and sisters, let's just finish this, this video with a uh, uh, pray. Dear Lord, please... Uh, help us to understand the, your message sometimes we have so many information and misinformation and this might make us confused with what you are what we what you, we are we actually should understand so please bring us light to understand your word follow your path and do the right the right thing okay do what you want from us and uh, dear lord please bless all the children in the world all the children in the world okay amen